Hi everyone, I'm Lim. I get this question a lot in most of my YouTube comments. They say they have a problem. The phone, it get restarted every few minutes. It doesn't matter 10 minutes or maybe an hour. This kind of problem, I will talk about it in this video. Hey, I have this problem. What's the solution? First, I need to correct your mind. Not every symptoms, it has the same problem. Same goes to the people. Let's say if we sick, you have a headache. Doesn't mean you have a tumor. You might have the same symptoms, but it could be hundreds of the reasons causing that problem. So the more proper way you to ask is, how do I check this problem? And my answer always is, you send to the professional. Because I assume you are the end user watching this video. If you are not the end user, you try to learn this from the YouTube. I advise you to join the school or join the academy, join my online course. You will understand why after you watch this video. First, you need to know when the phone it restart itself, it only has two problems. One is maybe the voltage is not stable or it has a shot. The phone restart itself without your permission. This is number one. Number two is the iOS decided to restart itself without your permission. iOS crash. Not only the hardware can causing the crash, even the software corrupted can also cause the system crash. But when the iOS restart with a crash, it will create a file which is called Technic. So the following video is to show you where you locate the Technic file. And by the way, just now I mentioned when the phone reboot itself, it will create a file inside in here, privacy analytic. Okay, analytic data. And there's a file called Panic. Okay, this one, Panic full. And this is the date of the phone that reset itself. Okay. So you have located the Panic file, but you don't understand any of it. No problem. If you know how to Google, you should know there are some software that are free. It can help you to analyze the panic file. I can suggest you one of it. It is called 3U Tools. Okay, after you install it, there's a button to read the crash report. And it also comes with the suggestions, okay, what you should check. Usually it's some components, the hardware problem. They are not responding to the iOS. Remember, it is the suggestion, tell you to check it. But as I say, Send to the professional, they have all the parts. You don't need to blindly purchase the part that you don't know. And maybe it is not the problem. You will be wasted your money if you do a blind repair. Let us do the works, let us troubleshoot for you. If let's say you don't want to install this kind of software to help you analyze, there are even some professional that are built onto their website. If you don't want the software, you can use the website. There's a website, Technic Full. Com. So there's a team that built the analyzer for free, Panic Analyzer. You can just choose your Panic file and upload to here. Or either you can do copy and paste. He will give you the suggestions. I'm not the one who make the website, but there are always are some guys that build the software or the website to help the beginners. But the main purpose is still advertising. You can join their school if you feel like to learn. Remember this. Professional knowledge doesn't come free. Those databases outside usually are just a standard or a basic database. The latest of the panic problem or a special panic problem, we don't usually upload to there. We don't usually share to the public. Don't forget, our kind of professional is the one who upload the knowledge to the Google. You are not the only one who know how to Google it. And all those knowledge are from the experience for the guys who like me who repair thousands of the iPhone. It is not from a school book. So if you are interested to know more, to learn it, you have to join whatever the course you can get. I guess this is for this video and I see you on the next one. Bye.